Hey guys, I'm Phil Blanks, so and welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi's Island. We're on 4-4, one of my favorite levels, one of my favorite fortresses too. Uh, Marching Mild's Fort, or Mildy, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Watch out with the chumps. Like that, we've seen those before. These are Mild's or Mildy's, I'm gonna call them Mild. Mildy's a dumb name, they're really cute. Look at them, boop, I love them. They're among my favorite enemies in this game. I really like them, watch out. Ah, I missed a red coin, oh my god, I gotta go back, I gotta go back. Uh. Wow, I'm actually gonna make it back. But it won't matter because all that stuff's gone, so I have to die. So, unless. Nope, not gonna make this. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh, it's so close! Oh my god, it's a gross! Oh! <laughs> oh, oh well. One minute wasted there. So, basically, yeah. So, watch over that. Don't be an idiot like I was. And run and run and run and run and run. Yum, yum, yum. So this uh, this fortress has something that's really just unique about it that I really enjoy. Let's make sure I get those red coins this time. Keep it going, keep it going. Get those red coins. Don't want to do what I did. Want to die or start to level over again and then get hit. The thing does slow down a little bit for you, so you know. And then it smokes its face. And uh, I don't know, it has cracked teeth and just starts to cry. Poor chomp. But I mean, he was trying to kill you. I like how the background is kind of like a, a full-on level. I love that a lot. Really, really cool. You notice that this fortress has, so far, um, you know, very happy music. But, that'll end. Now we're in the fortress. Also, keeping that sunset kind of thing in, in, in the outside, I like that a lot. Here's four areas you can go to, and also a gate. Uh, or not a gate, but a um, locked door and a uh, goal ring. Not a goal, a mid ring. We're going to avoid that for now. We're going to go top left first. You have to do all four of these passages. And this um, level introduces um, something that I like in a lot of games. And one of my favorite things about game design, or one of my favorite uh, things you can you can put in your game anyways, is... One second. There we go. Introducing a mechanic, for example, in this game, uh, having eggs to throw at enemies, and then taking it away. It's one of my favorite things. Jump these guys. You can't kill them, but you can, like, knock them out for a little bit. So you just gotta be careful. I'm gonna stay up in here. Might as well. Make sure there's no red coins in the way. Go the way, too. That was shit. Oh, well, I destroyed all my footing. Oh, good thing I can just, you know, go this way. But yeah, one of my favorite things is, is when uh, a game gives you something and then takes away. And this is, it's your eggs. So, the whole idea is that all four of those paths give you a key. You need all four keys in order to get to the boss room. And basically, having four keys means you only have two eggs at one time available. Because you can only hold six things at once. And, you know, keys count. So, it's just a really fun mechanic. Now, these areas are fairly short. Like, here's the first key. And then you move on to the next area. But if you really, really wanted to, you could just use the key right now. And just, like, use it right there. Then go to the next one. And then you'll always only have a maximum of one key. But... I think that kind of spoils the idea of what they were going for for this level. So even as a kid, I would purposely go through all four doors before using any keys. Because that just ups the challenge a little bit, and I think that's what they were trying to do. Eat the pot bow, get some fire breath going. Not that I can use fire breath for anything, because I mean, what am I going to use it against the lava? So bleh. You get, you get three? Wow. This is as good as a, a full-blown watermelon. It's pretty good. The um, the lava will kill you. The fireballs won't. They'll just take away Baby Mario for a second. But the lava itself will kill you. So you want to be very careful. Obviously. I think... I think that lava kills you. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't want to try it out. Just going to keep going. Oh, there we go. Two keys. Now with two keys down, I'm going to take that mid-goal ring. That way, if I die, I can save... Or I'll start from there. If you're if you're good... Oh, I thought maybe you could jump over it. I'm not sure if you can. Maybe that jump was just poor. I do like how there's a little uh, window, but what the uh, area is going to be. It's going to be about spikes. I believe, anyways. Oh, spikes and a couple more mechanics. 
breakable watch that you're seeing. Plus these, um, oh, sniffets! Oh, sniffets are so cool and well-designed in this one. They look awesome. Very careful. Um, also, what was that that just, like, went... Oh, shit. Uh, these green blocks will explode after one hit with an egg. And, um, there's only green ones here, but you can see other ones, too, later on that take multiple hits. It's very, um, much like Arkanoid. Which is actually a great, great arcade game. Get away from me, bandit. Now, you prick. There. Sure. Careful here. Nice. Oh, pert. Wow. What a good shot that was. There we go. Careful to sniff it. Get some eggs. You can hold four eggs right now because I've got two keys. So I want to make sure I have eggs whenever I can. Just in case. I thought this would be about spikes, but I guess not. Oh, shit. Ugh. Eh. Whew. I do like how obstacle-y this place is, though. I love... Ah! Shit. I love obstacle courses. It's probably why I like, um... Side scrollers so much because they're basically shit. They're basically shit, yeah. They're basically si uh, obstacle courses, just very large ones with multiple things to do in them. So, so levels that are very much obstacle courses, I like a lot. Damn it! There we go. Whatever, we got plenty of chances to get more stars. So, oh, we got the red bandit here, which has a has a uh, a red coin. Just kill them. That's it. Very easy. Not a big deal. But I do want to get some eggs here. I want to pop these guys for something. Like some stars and probably a um, either a 1-up or a, uh, a flower. Yeah. Oh, or the key. Yeah, I totally forgot about the key. Jeez. Yum. It's now going to hold a maximum of three eggs at one time. And now I've got those three eggs. If you're good, you can really... Um, you can grab your eggs before they disappear like this. Boink. Like that. You need enough room to do so, though. One more. One more. Whee! Whee! Oh, we got a new guy. These are like weird spiny guys. They're like, I don't know if you count them as shy guys or not. These guys are very odd. You don't see them very often. Eh, you need them, so it doesn't really matter. Jump for the faux 3D here. I like these ones. All about your weight. It's very cool. Very well done. Nice. Careful. And unlike spinies, they don't seem to fall uh, fall around uh, or fall uh, down pits. If they walk off a thing, they'll turn around instead. I wonder where I should be going. Careful here. Oh, I thought that was gonna go down in the spikes. Damn, I'm not doing good at all. And I only got one egg left. No, 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 damn it. Shit. Well, let's try that again. He might be here for a little while. My egg aiming skills don't seem to be up to par right now. There we go. And I need another one anyways. Oh, I can just grab that. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I'm gonna need another. Come on, give me an egg. I can't get these guys. Just oh, never mind. Cool. Got it. You can just faintly hear that I did get it. Oh. These blue ones will disappear after a little while. I think if you leave them alone for too long, not 100% sure on that. But that's what I think they do. Yeah, see, these will disappear now. Nice. Doing good. Oh shit, which way do I go? Well, not down there. Well, I got some eggs. I can hold one more anyway, so it's not really a big deal. Alright, let's go to the left, I guess. I hope that's the right way. Good. Oh, they both lead to the same place, so it doesn't matter. Anything down here? Just death? Is it just death? I'm so scared. Uh, I want to see. I want to see, though. Oh, I want to see what's down there, but I'm super worried it's something bad. Or it could be where I'm supposed to go. Shit, it's where I'm supposed to go. Well, that sucks. This is gonna be a yeah, two level, two level episode. <laughs> Methinks. No, oh, whatever. Not a difficult. Ah, well, I'm dead. So somewhat difficult. I'll make it back to where I was, guys. I'll be right back. All right, let's try this again. Pitch anything? Yeah, you do have to go down. Bet. Oh, I didn't have to go down. 
I mean, you can go down. We got the key though, I guess that's what I was missing. How did I miss the, getting the key last time, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. We got the key, that's what's important. And up. And we'll use the door. And then there we go. But yeah, I really like the stage. Just a really cool idea. I really enjoy it. Little challenge rooms. It's always been a fun thing for me in platformers. Pop. It's better than boss rushes and like RPGs or something. Like if you've already done the bosses and you're just like, oh great, this part of the game. Yeah, if you don't have enough stars, there's a lot of stars for you. So here we go. We're gonna use all our keys. So again, like the idea. It would've been really cool if you had to get like six at a time or something like that in order to even like a do one door took six you couldn't just use one key at a time or something like that Ooh. yeah not even this bad. is that everything we're good perfect all right let's fight mild who's a really 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 cool boss i really love the design and the, the way he's made i'm gonna avoid this for now i'm gonna stock up on eggs not that i really need eggs right now but it'll help there we go. all right let's do this What does K-Mech have to say this time? Oh, down we go. Can't even control myself. There he is. He's so cute. Yoshi, oh dear. Well, Marching Mild will pound you to bits. Oh, K-Mech Jr. Weirdly smooth voice, which doesn't fit you at all. And here we go. <laughs> I love him. Look at him. He's so happy. So he just kind of walks around. He doesn't attack. This is it. But then you just bounce on him. So what you're supposed to do, I'm actually going to lead him away from a wall, just in case. Come over here. Alright, ground pound him. Bop! <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't even hit him with um, with eggs. So it's all about the ground pound. And he makes a bunch of them. Oh god. Ah, well that sucks. Well now I have to die. So I'm just going to wait until I die. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, let's try this fool again. I also learned that, um, so, after you smoke them, and then you smoke them again, uh, don't hit these guys with eggs, or they'll bounce around really fast. It's, uh, I did not know that, and as they bounce around, they will hurt you and kill you. There we go. I love it. Blast the other ones super far away. And when they're like this, by the way, boink! Really easily. Careful there. Ah, see what I mean? You bounced them away really fast. And almost done. And now you can just eat them, because they're regular enemies now. I just really like that boss. It's just a cute idea. Plus, that's... <laughs> I love the way Yoshi looks there. He's really funny. Yes, yeah, so that was one of my favorite levels in the game. I really liked it. Do, 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 do. Yeah, sorry about having to kill myself there. Um, you cannot replenish your stars in the middle of a boss fight. You are required to um, defeat the bosses without getting hit. Because you can't... You can you can go in your menu, but you can't use any items. So, Ooh, this is another fun one. Something about Chomp Rock. I read the name of it. <laughs> Chomp Rock Zone. Oh, it's the song at the Hedgehog level. The Chomp Rock Zone, Act 1. It's Chomp Rock. Push him. The entire level is about pushing Chomp Rock. Another just super fun level. And again with the sunset. I love that. Very, very cool. This whole. I, I like the idea that this whole um, world seems to take place during sunset, which means... I don't know. I think maybe... Uh, like, like my head canon now is that this entire game takes place over the course of a, just a single day. I guess. I don't know. You know, morning time is level one, world two is like afternoon, three is like sort of evening, like, I don't know, like four, four or five o'clock, and you got the sun set now. Well, it tells me to go over there, but I'm going to go down here instead. Because don't ever follow the arrows. Yay. Can't kill this guy. Damn tap tap. Tap tap is gonna be annoying later, believe me. There you go. It's gonna be annoying a couple times later, believe me. But yeah, this is a cool idea for a level. Not every level introduces something new or uses something new in a, in a, in a cool way, but whoa, that was weird. This is definitely one of those levels that just does something really nifty. Plus, just like that's just fun. It's just satisfying. It's very cathartic. And again, I never know if there's a, anything or nothing in these posts, but I don't want to miss out on a friggin' red coin because I forgot to jump on a post like I did that one episode. So I don't want to do that. There we go. So you definitely don't want Chop Rock to go in this hole down there, so... 
There we go. And uh, you don't need to bring Chomp Rock the whole time. It's just, I think it's just better, I guess. I, I forget exactly why. But whatever, it's fun. So, shmush, shmush, shmush. You can get it over. But I think you, yeah, you can't make it over past that, so down it goes. Anything here? Nope, super weird. Some of these little areas that they add for no reason, it's super odd. Thank you. Over. Oh, Chomp Rock, come back. Come back, Chomp Rock. There we go, it stopped. Boop. Thank you. There's that one star, there you are. Oh, the stars have little feet. I don't really comment on that, it's just silly. I'm gonna go back just in case, that little area where I got that red coin with the shy guy. Just wanna make sure of everything here. Okay, we look good. You guys can't hear it, but uh, Kloopy is snoring up a friggin' storm. It's really cute. She's such a snorer. But she's a really good napper. Um, Kate is away to Japan for a while, and uh, usually we sleep with the door closed. Uh, neither dogs are in the room when we sleep. Uh, Mishka especially, Mishka moves around a lot, um, cause she, she's that type of dog, right? Oh yeah, you want it cause you want to get up here. That's why you, why you need it. Though it wouldn't be surprised if you could like angle an egg or something, get everything here. There we go. Um, but yeah, she moves around a lot throughout the night because she's, I don't know, a husky. She's like, I don't guard in the house, I have no freaking clue. But, the, uh, but Kloopy, being like a, a big poodle, well it's not that big, she's a medium sized poodle. Uh, she just kinda, in here. Okay. Oh, right, and I want... Ah, crap. Shit, shit, shit. I might have screwed this all up. I have to go fast. So I'm gonna get stuck. Um, but yeah, Kluby, like, sleeps throughout the entire friggin' night, and it's, uh, she's a sleeper. So she'll sleep, like, right at our legs, and, uh, like, she'll press up against us never. Like, she, like, wants to cut it. But she won't bother us at all. It's really great. All right, let's hope this goes fast enough that it skips those little tiles. Ah, damn it! I really messed that up. Shit. Yep. Alright. Guess I'm gonna have to go through this level entirely again. I'll meet you right back, guys. Alright, let's try this again. Get Chomp Rock in position. Careful that it doesn't go too far. Like that. Alright, let's push. Let's do this fast. We only got so much time. There we go. Interesting idea. Very interesting idea. Thankfully, there was a mid, uh, mid checkpoint thingy. Careful, these guys, like I said, ground pound, they'll smack their things around, and that could be very dangerous, so. There we go. That way the chopper won't just fall through. Oh, that's weird. There we go. Ah! Oh! I don't know why, I forgot that I could tongue up for a second there, and then just did it at the last second. And. Here. Nothing here? But, I got my chomp rock. Got my chomp rock, buddy. Don't really know, know what I need him for over here. Is to get up there? No. I can get up there normally. Push, 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 push. Purple Yoshi, very strong Yoshi. Oh, is to get up here? I guess I could have just jumped off an enemy, though. Whatever. I'm up. Oh, these guys. These are cool. Boom. You can smack them down all the way down like that. And then you just push it. Push it real good. You know, my only joke of <laughs> revolving around the word push it. Words of push it. Can I go down here? Yes, I can. Got all the red coins. It sounds like I'm missing just this. Okay, cool. Easy enough. Take that. Oh, you missed. You suck. Clearly his fault, not mine. There we go. That's everything. Nope, missing some stars. Oh shit! You know what? I'm gonna go back down there, and actually, I'm gonna make myself some red eggs. Oh, perfect! I've got like infinite eggs here. Easy, easy. Just in case I miss a ton of times. <laughs> Just in case. Such a fun game mechanic that I'm glad they implemented. Oh, that was close. I almost just, like, actually hurt myself. There we go. I just got to double check. Good. All right. Awesome. Whoa. Sorry again for the um, two-level episode, but, I mean, that's what's going to happen with, um, like, long fortresses like Marching Miles. So, oh, we got a one-up. Or not one-up. The bonus challenge. So the episode is not over yet. Yay. More time with me and you. 
to my viewers who are so important to me. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I guess without you guys I wouldn't be talking while I game. I'd still be gaming. That wouldn't change. Oh, we're just doing the scratchy one again? Alright, let's go. Let's go super random. Super random! Well, that didn't help me. Super random again! Yay! At least one baby Mario. We're happy. Brown Yoshi won't be sad. Oh, nice. There we go. Two up. Not bad. Back to, like, low lives. Oh, no, like, out there. I was up to, like, 80 lives, too. It's so frustrating. Oh, well. That is all for me today, guys. And I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Yoshi's Island. Take care, guys.